Hey there tech world, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be showing you how to replace a motherboard in a Lenovo T450 and T440. As you can see, I already removed the battery. Underneath the battery, there will be two rubber grips. You need to remove these rubber grips in order to remove, uh, in order to lift the keyboard to remove the six screws that's under the keyboard. You can use here. I'm using needle nose pliers. You you can use um, flathead screwdriver um, or pretty much anything that can get under the the grips. I got my grips out, so I'll flip it over. And there will be two little slots right at the bottom of the keyboard that you can use a flathead screwdriver to gently push up on. Got my flathead screwdriver. Lift up. And take a fill up screw, screw bit, screwdriver, whatever you use. It's about six screws. You want to remove these screws. Don't mind my ashy hands, by the way. Do a lot of work. Not here to press the ladies. You remove the keyboard under the keyboard. You have two cables, two flex cables that you have to lo loosen up. You remove them. Oh man. Man, I need some lotion. That's, that's courtesy of a lot of hand washing right there. No one likes dirty hands. So I lift up my two latches and remove the ribbons from the keyboard. Remove the keyboard ribbons. Flip the laptop back around. Now we got about eight screws that we want to take out. Remember, be careful um, pulling out these screws. They're not supposed to come all the way out. If they come all the way out, then more than likely the um, little stopper that was preventing them from coming all the way out, it came out. <laughs> and then take your pry tool and gently push up on the edges of the laptop. And typically, you would want to start in the back right there. Um, makes it a lot easier. Just lift the clips up that's attached back there. Makes it a lot easier working your way around. We have the back off. So now we're going to start taking the motherboard apart. First, you should look around for all the parts that you're going to detach and start unhooking them. But remember every everything that you take apart, and uh, best to separate it and, and, and keep it in order. It makes it easier when putting everything back together. Sorry for my camera view, um, but I didn't have my head camera uh, at this time at, at, 
while I was doing this repair, so camera view, I mean camera angles are kind of horrible, but you can still kind of see what's going on. That's the CMOS battery I'm hooking at. And I'm hooking a wireless antenna. And that's the wireless nick. Just checking it around. Find everything else I need to remove. You can start taking apart the screws that's in the motherboard. Now we're going to remove the backup battery. As you know, the T440s and the T450s have a, have a backup battery, which is pretty cool. Remember, I removed the battery and <laughs> before I knew it had a backup battery. <laughs> then I <laughs> removed the battery, thought their laptop reset, turned it around, and realized it was still on. <laughs> Messed my head up. Now we have the backup battery removed. Make sure you keep all your pieces in order. Now we're gonna detach the ribbon cable for the keyboard connector. Pepsi's good. Pepsi's real good. Even though they're not paying me, so I shouldn't be advertising that. But um, let's unscrew four screws for the fan. And hook the fan. So we can proceed with removing the motherboard. Try to keep everything separated. It's very, very important. What I try to do is I take things off in sections and I keep all the screws and everything with that section together. Or you could just buy a container uh, with different compartments and put each, put, 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 uh, separate the screws in the compartments. But I, I just make it easier for myself and just separate everything. keep everything together each section I take off I keep it with the screws make sure you got all your cables and everything out the way you don't want to lift up on the motherboard too much you don't want to break it even though you're replacing it anyway I'm not sure if you can get money for your spare parts But keep that in mind if you can. Now we're all clear to remove our motherboard. 
Unless you have the old one removed. You want to replace it with the new one. Now, this is the fun part, trying to get everything back together. Um, for the purpose of saving time, I'm going to speed up a lot of this part. Uh, it's mainly just lining wires up and, and, and connecting all the ribbon cables and everything back together. Screwing in screws. Pretty sure by now you should have a photographic memory or kind of an idea where everything goes because you just took it apart. So, just making sure everything is sitting back in the right place. Now it's time to start replacing the parts. I'm gonna line my fan, line my fan up, make sure all the wires are out the way. You may have thermal paste on the bottom of the fan. Uh, if it's not enough on there, you may want to apply some more. Now, now that you got everything hooked back up, the first thing you want to do is make sure that you have power. Man, those hands. Try to piss some lotion on in my next tutorial. I had to plug the charger up. The battery was dead completely. Uh, and we do have power. You can verify that everything is being recognized. Um, and that your motherboard swap is complete. Thank you for watching my video. Please like, subscribe.
gives me motivation to make more. Have a good one.